Okay, hello, hello. We've got the Genie Advanced Pumpables Pump here. I just did an IGTV video for you on the big bad boy, the Super Genie. This is the smaller version. Let's check it out. So, this one has less settings than the other one, obviously, because it's smaller. And that's very common for the portable versions of bigger pumps, okay? Um, this one is cheaper and portable. So that's cool. It comes with some really cool um, adapters for charging, which me, I mean, if you live in one country and you're never moving, that's fine. But I really liked that it came with multiple adapters. So you've got your standard US one. Okay. It also came with one for the UK and also this one, which if you know what it is, comment below because I'm not sure what country that you live in. Maybe an Asian country or something, Philippines, I don't know. Tell me, I'm really curious. Um, I'm, and then obviously the EU one, which I've got today because we currently still live in Belgium for the moment. All right. Another thing I loved about this one is it came with a lanyard. So when people ask my recommendations for a portable pump, I have a few recommendations that I usually give, and that would be actually a really good video on YouTube, so I will do that. But sometimes I find myself saying, this is an awesome pump, but just so you know, it doesn't have a lanyard. It's not like a huge, it's not like a deal breaker, but the cool thing about a lanyard is that you can use it with um, like some cups, like the legendary milk cups are my favorite. They're currently sold out, which is a bummer, but uh, the Kara cups you could use this one with as well. And then you can hang it around your neck like this with your cups in, bloop, totally hands-free. So your little portable pump, if it doesn't have this lanyard, then you can't do that. This one actually also has a clip on the back, like for your pants, which is awesome. The only other portable pump that has a clip like this is the Freemie, um, but this one has both the lanyard and the clip, so cool. Actually, I said this on the other video too, but when I have been opening these pumps and playing with them, I can already tell that I'm going to love, love, love these. They just thought of so many cool things and Puppy moms are making these or their research team is like on point because <laughs> so many good features. Um, I'm really, I'm really impressed. All right, I've been charging this for about an hour and it's got plenty of life, so that's cool. Um, let's try this bad boy out. Here we go. Sweet. Okay, so it starts on stimulation mode, as you can see up here. You cannot adjust the cycle speed on stimulation mode, which again is very common, especially for portable pumps. Um, sometimes you do have, um, actually often, on regular, like bigger pumps that you can't even adjust the cycle speed on uh, stimulation mode, which is this first one. So this is very standard. Wow, I don't often see though that you can adjust the vacuum speed so much in the stimulation mode. This one goes clear up to 10. Um, usually you only have five. Actually, I don't even think I've seen a pump that had more than five. So that's cool. Okay, when you're ready, you may switch it to expression mode. You can see that it's timing it here in the middle for you, which is awesome. If you, and then this button here is how you switch between whether you're adjusting the vacuum or the cycle speed. So you can see here is the cycle. Let's do the vacuum first. Let's see what it goes up to. You can hear the difference in the cycle speed, so the, the number of sucks per minute on section level 10 versus one. Can you hear how it's faster? I have not adjusted the cycle speed at all. 
Um, again, very, very common for portable pumps that those kind of coincide. So let's go ahead and pick like five and then let's play with the cycles. So you have three different cycle speeds there. Let's lower this and see if it gives you any more. Nope. Let's take it all the way up and see if it gives. Okay, so this is actually not telling you what, um, how many cycle speeds per minute it, you have. Like on their bigger pump here, it actually told you the cycles per minute. So it'll tell you like 70 or 104, it went clear up to 104 on the simulation. This is just like modes. So it's obviously not one cycle per minute. And there's three options. Again, you can just kind of play with that and see what works best for you. So some people respond better to a slower cycle speed when they're in expression mode, and then you can do vacuum to comfort. Um, some people like a, a higher, similar to stimulation mode while even in expression mode and find that that works best for them. There's really no wrong way to pump, so don't be afraid. You're not gonna mess your boobs up. <laughs> okay, that's that. So I think, Okay, so there's a little P button on the side over here and you can see I've pushed it and now it is recording. So, after you've used this pump a couple times, figure out what you like and then record your session. So record your stimulation and then when you switch it to expression, stuff like that. After you're done, um, you can save that into, now you have a program one. So, cool. And then you can just use your program that you've set up to do that. This one does not have an app, I believe. The other bigger one did, and you could set your programs and stuff in your app, which was really cool. This one is a little heavy compared to some other portable pumps. I will actually do a video of comparing this to other portable pumps though because um, so far I really like this. I love the bigger one for like a, a workhorse pump. Love, love, love that one. There's some, a link in my bio with a coupon code as well. If you're watching this soon, Mother's Day sale is like 20% off but I have also a regular um, just new little life shop coupon in there for you. So a little bit big, like, the baby boot is like half that width, but this is, has more options and is a better little pump than that one, I think. Um, and it is a titch heavier, but I really, really like it. So I also just plugged in on that other video of the main pump, the liquid shield kit. Super, super cool. I will do a video after this on how this works because while it was pumping this little inside, can you see that? Can you see how it's so far away from the, the outside of that? It had so much room. It was like caressing the nipple. It was really, really comfortable. I loved it. This is very standard tubey. So you can use th this pump with your favorite um, phalange set if you want. It also came with an adapter so that you can pump into like a narrow mouth bottle if you want to. It's a closed system. You do have to get the adapters. If you're gonna use this shield kit, you do have to get this pumps stuff because it is set up very interestingly. But so far, that is awesome. A fairly quiet pump. I plugged it in and used it earlier before we started and um, it's, it's pretty quiet. So actually, let's see, there's specs in the back. Let's check those out really quick before we end this video here. Okay, it says that the vacuum range is 15 to 330 mmHg. I will test that and, do, and when I do my YouTube review video on this. 330 is a lot, especially for a small portable pump like that. So I'm really interested to see if that holds up. Um, Okay, this tells me that the massage, the um, 
it says massage mode, but it's also, sometimes I call it stimulation mode or letdown mode. The beginning one says it's 60 cycles per minute and that it's constant. The other bigger pump had a much wider range and it was adjustable, but this is very common for pumps like this. So I'm not stressed about that. Uh, battery life, three hours. That's a long battery life. You can get some good pumping on three hours worth of battery. Actually, it's longer than this bigger pump. That's really cool. Um, just to compare, a pump like the Freemie is like 90 minutes. Uh, time to charge, 4.5 hours, which is cool. Uh, it's a, little, a, a longer charging time than I would normally see, but this pump will pump longer with a charge. Does that make sense? Um, motor life, 500 hours. Again, very consistent with other pumps. So, okay, that's a cool little pump. I really like it. If you want, if you have questions, please post them below. I will answer them. And then also when I do a full review on YouTube, which I won't be able to get out for a few weeks. Um, super awesome pump. Again, there's a link in my bio, but ask questions down below if you have them. I'd be happy to answer them. Or you can pop over to our Facebook group. Tons of information and awesome moms over there. So see you later.